The legendary Acropolis Rally made its long-awaited return to the World Rally Championship for the first time since 2013. But did it live up to the hype? You bet it did. This one had everything. All 15 stages came with variety to properly test the crew's skill sets. And we were treated to both some incredible performances and unfortunate instances in equal measure. Make no mistake, this was a stern test for all involved and, as ever, there were plenty of memorable moments to look back on. It was a disappointing Acropolis for Pierre-Louis Louvet. A jump start penalty and two punctures on the first full day was definitely not the kind of start he'd been looking for. But it would get worse for the Frenchman on Friday's final stage. Out of nowhere, his pace evaporated and he rolled to a stop, teetering over the road's edge. The culprit? Broken steering. Fortunately, there were plenty of spectators stage side to offer a helping hand. They eventually muscled Lube's Hyundai back onto the road where he limped to the finish. His rally, though, effectively over. We were sure the Acropolis would give the WRC teams their toughest European test so far this year. And the huge variety of conditions experienced was eye-opening. The Super Special in Athens was as predictable as it got. But once attention shifted to the mountains, both terrain and weather seemed to change every stage. There was the brutal, bone-shaking Aggie Theodori and Alasia next to the tight, twisting tree-line roads of Teva. The loose gravel of Gravia contrasting with the slick hard pack of Pavliani. Hot and dusty. Wet and muddy. Hairpins. Straights. The Acropolis had it all. Elvin Evans started the Acropolis second in the championship standings and looked to put pressure on leader Sebastian Ogier. But almost immediately it began to go wrong. He was late starting stage three, looking like he'd been working frantically to try to fix something on the road section to the stage start. When he finally got underway, his facial expression, not to mention the noises his Toyota Yaris was making, would tell their own story. A gearbox problem. The Welshman was stuck in sixth, but managed to ease it through the Lutraki test. He was eventually able to swap sixth gear for third, but having to drive four stages with only one gear meant he dropped four and a half minutes before they were able to rectify the issue back in service at the end of Friday's action. Evans eventually recovered to finish the rally a creditable sixth overall. Thierry Neuville came to Greece having just tasted victory last time out at Rally Ypres, but sadly he had a rally to forget here. It was clear Neuville was unhappy with his I-20s handling from the get-go, and unfortunately things only got worse. He was spotted working under the bonnet during Friday's tyre fitting zone, and under the bonnet is not where tyres are kept. It quickly became clear that his power steering was no more. Normally a calm figure, Neville was visibly hurting when forced to manhandle his Hyundai through the 17 kilometers of Aggie Theodori. In between stages, he and his co-driver would frantically fill the power steering reservoir with fluid, but it wasn't until service that it could be properly sorted. By then, he'd lost nearly six minutes 
and was forced to chase WRC two cars for the rest of the rally. Calais Rob Van Pera has already started delivering on the promise he's shown for years, having recently recorded his first ever WRC win at Rally Estonia. But the Acropolis is a different kind of proposition entirely. How would the young Finn fare? In short, he dominated. Rovan Pera took an early lead on Friday but was closely shadowed by Oik Tanak, nibbling at its heels just a couple of seconds behind. Saturday changed everything. The day dawned and Rovan Pera simply came flying out the blocks. He put down a series of astounding stage times, winning four in a row, and by the end of stage 10, he had carved out an almost 40 second advantage. He didn't look back from there, and to top it all off, he finished his Rally Greece domination by winning the power stage to take five extra championship points. It was an absolutely phenomenal performance from the young Finn, and we think he is just getting going. WRC Plus on all devices, WRC Plus, all live.